Little towns are three, four miles off the interstate. And a lot of that history is lost. Walking 2,200 miles, carrying 60 pounds on his back. Midland being a bigger area has a lot of history behind it as well. Ernesto Rodriguez is walking from Clarksville, Tennessee, all the way to Los Angeles, California, all to honor the number of 22 vets who take their lives every day. Money comes and goes, but a message stays for forever if you make it strong enough. And today, he's in the tall city. The first thing I thought of with Midland was oil. Just lots and lots of oil fields, lots of, I mean, the Dust Bowl pretty much. But what he didn't know was what was in store for him this weekend. Once in a lifetime type thing, I will be going up in this bad boy, going for a little flight. The commemorative Air Force heard about Ernesto's 2200 mile walk. Tomorrow they're letting him ride in a T-6, an aircraft that was flown during World War II. I, I didn't think I was going to get to a position where I was going to be recognized enough to do all this cool stuff, but I mean, this is going to be pretty amazing. The CAF is expressing thanks to Ernesto, and they're giving him a tour around Midland, where he will get to learn more about the tall city's history from George W. Bush's childhood home and the Chris Kyle Memorial. I always like to share that history with the followers that I have on Facebook. Ernesto plans to take off to Odessa on Monday, and the next stop will be Pecos and then El Paso. He will be accompanied by another veteran who is joining him on his journey. So all I'm trying to do is build enough of a voice and enough of a platform to actually make change. Reporting in Midland, Jelena Okazaki, News West 9.